There is one place that I always go when I need to free my soul. There is a stack there, 150 meters. And that's, that's the mountains of my home country of Spain. Mountain stacks with a bow will not only test your skills, but your commitment and passion. <sighs> Fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. After not being able to harvest a stack with my bow last season, I go back for a week to give it my best shot. We are in Leon for a week. We are going to be hunting stacks with a bow. Mountain stacks, beautiful terrain. It's going to be a hell of a challenging hunt. It's the first morning. We are going to do some scouting. It's a bit late. We haven't heard a single roar, but it's the beginning of the rut, and we should things should go should start to get better and better. Okay, let's move. Today is the day. 
It was our first time hunting the rat in this new area, so learning the stag's behavior and understanding the terrain was taking us some time. I thought maybe the stag was better bedded right here, but it vanished. We tried everything and after almost a week we hadn't even been close to a stack. Long hikes, nights in the tent and bad weather was slowly wearing our morale down. We need it this afternoon. We need it this afternoon to make it happen. And I think the afternoon is ruined. We keep grinding no matter what. We were starting to learn how to hunt these stacks, and sure enough, we were getting closer and closer. Reasonably close to the hinds, thinking that the stack was with them, with them, but he decided to bet all the way on the top. So we are gonna wait, spend the whole day here. We didn't brought any food, barely no water. It's raining. <laughs> Every now and then, it's getting cold. So, looks like the day is gonna suck, but we need, this, this is what we, we have to do. <sighs> we just need to keep doing the right things in hopes that something happens. More rain coming, but we somewhere relocated the stack. And we are trying to put a stop, but we need to get all the way around again to try to save the wind. <sighs> Fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. It's so hard to also to get a good explanation of where the stack is. We locate the stacks that we have been chasing for the last few days and see him bed down. The stock was on.
work our asses today. Sorry for failing. Sorry for everyone watching for failing. Clean miss. I think I went over. I guess 40, but I tried to clear the the grass and still the body was lower than I thought. And clean miss. Frustrating, I don't know what to say. Not only me, but because of Lewis that has been all day, Samuel is there soaked wet trying to help us, we have worked our asses today, we really deserved this, but... It's how it goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> what a disappointment, it would have been like the perfect story, this is the stack we have been hunting for a few days already, so... <sighs> what time is it? It's five in the afternoon. We have been since seven in the morning under the rain. No, no food. No food, no water. 10 hours hunting, nine kilometers, 600 positive. <sighs> Maybe we can catch him tomorrow morning. Today is the last afternoon. So. One last chance. <sighs> Bow hunting sucks. Sometimes it's amazing, but many times it sucks. <sighs> Only if I could like rewind that for a minute and do it again, it was like should have nailed that shot. Ten out of ten. If there would have not been so much grass. I think I was scared of hitting the grass and aim a little bit higher than I should have. But it's easy to to say I should have, I should have after the fact. So no regrets. We work hard, Lewis.
stuck after a crazy, crazy storm through the river. Tiki 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 tiki. Perfect. We got to 30 meters, but it was better down. We were running out of light. We couldn't see it. So I released a couple of roars, and sure enough, it stood up, but it jumped directly. I think the wind was changing all the time, and I told Lewis, I think we need to do something because if the stack is better, he's gonna know that we are here. And he stood up, started running right away. I got a full draw trying to see if he was gonna give us an, an option. And, and it, it never stopped. I came running here to try to cut him on the creek, but it was already too far, so. After six days, we had an amazing day. It sucks big time. It sucks because it sucks because we have been this close, but it has been amazing. We had an awesome day, and this is hunting no matter if you get the animal or not. Sure, feel, must feel way better to get one, but we work our butts today, so I'm proud. Sorry, buddy. Fucking close. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow last morning. <laughs>
we started understanding the animals and their patterns and their movements the last few days. That's why we, we got three good opportunities. But in these complicated hunts, this is the toughest animal to hunt in Spain by far. And in these tough hunts, you are lucky if you get one opportunity. I got one and I was not able to take advantage of it. So, sucks to think that it's the second year in a row that I'm not gonna be able to take a stack with the bow. Many will think that we set out on this type of hunts to harvest an animal, but the reality is that we go there to find ourselves face up to a challenge and discover who we really are. This battle is over and not the war, so we will come back stronger. We, we will be back. So the fast Spanish you can hear in the background is a panicked Pedro because uh, the clutch just blew up halfway up the Leon Mountains. And... The car was giving problems. Uh, there was one guy in the team that pointed that maybe the car was giving some problems. And it broke. So everything we own is on the side of the road. This is going to go back to Bilbao. So we're just trying to cherry pick everything that we need out of all of Pedro's drawers. And a glance into these drawers will give you a glance into Pedro's mind. So just think pure chaos. 